When my husband and I started looking at schools for our children, we had never really thought past the public school because that's what we had. A couple of things came home that we just kind of questioned and we were, you know, saying, okay, well, we'll pray through this. It's a good opportunity to talk to our children about it. Then this option came up of a Christian school. If we're supposed to train our children, but then we send them off to school for seven hours of the day, five days a week. Our job is to make sure that whoever has them for that seven hours is continuing on the same job that we're called to do as Christians. Who better than the body of Christ to help me raise my children? Classical education is designed to work within the frame of children. How are they built? What's the best thing to do at what ages to grow them into adulthood? So that by the time you're done, they're able to go into whatever field they're wanting to go into and that the education that they received did in no way inhibit, but only opened up. And the whole school convenes in our common area and we start off with just a brief daily devotional and singing hymns. It's one of my favorite parts of our day is just coming together as a school community for about 10 minutes and just singing. Those are the songs that are written on kids' hearts that they're humming, they're humming Come Thou Fount or um, Be Thou My Vision and it's just neat that, that that's what's written on their hearts. One of the things that we really love about Timber Ridge is uh, our kids' experience. Benjamin had gone to another school before and uh, came over to Timber Ridge last year and he's just very excited every day. He's very happy to be there. He's very self-motivated to do his homework, never wants to miss school, and uh, he loves his teachers. Students love coming to school. One of the best comments that I heard, um, and I've never heard a student say, is that um, they weren't looking forward to the summer, this last summer, because they were so excited to be at our school. Um, we just have lots of fun with hands-on science experiments, our different songs, and it's just so neat to see how kids th are thriving. We don't teach students as much as we build students. We want them to understand this world. We want them to be able to go in with a very advanced and I guess trained mind to know what to do with whatever they're reading. Kids are spending time actually reading books that have been tested over time that are not just fun and fluffy and insulated, but there's morals and plots and um, the full scope and spectrum of the literature has been developed and tested over time. Last year, my oldest son was very hesitant about coming to school. And I think mainly because uh, reading was very difficult for my oldest son. And as we got through the year, each novel he brought home, he just kind of took on the responsibility of reading it. And by the end, he brought home um, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe was one of the last ones. And I mean, I, not five seconds when he drops his backpack in, he'd get his book out and run to the couch and just start reading it and reading it. Just the ambience within the building, the kids, the excitement, the camaraderie, no bullying, those types of things, that's what we do really well. It's been really neat seeing how kids have the opportunity to be who they were created to be and have people supporting that and watching kind of their walls and barriers drop instead of being shaped and formed by the peer pressures around them. They're in tune to what the kids need and um, what's going to help them and that, that's what they're here for. It's just a nurturing, wholesome, uplifting environment and so we're very grateful to be a part of it. I have support and that I can send my child to school knowing that the teachers and the staff and the administration are supporting what I'm doing at home, it's encouraging to me. 